Hello my YouTube beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing a full face, nothing new, get ready with me type of video. This video is where I use old products that maybe are not brand new releases that I still love and still use and share them with you and create a look. This is the look that I did. If you are interested in seeing how I got this look, then be sure to keep on watching and check the description box because I do always leave every product that I use in the video down in the description box. If you're curious throughout the video and maybe you missed a product or whatever, it will be down in the description box, don't worry. So I'm ready to jump into the video, show you how I achieved this look. I think I think it's really spring summer appropriate and very like fresh awake very like natural beauty type of look so um, again thank you guys so much for watching and be sure to click the notification bell so you are notified when I do upload a video sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't we just got to be flexible <laughs> YouTube is doing its own thing apparently so, all right let's jump into the video so first I'm gonna go in with the Smashbox photo finish primer water I always use this to prime my skin it makes me feel very refreshed and awake and I do notice an increased like hydration in my skin what do you guys think of this? I think it's super cute and it's like a non like pulling way to have my hair back, which I am a fan of. So I think I might use this in my videos cause it's, I don't know, it's just, it keeps the, my hair out of my face, but it doesn't like pull like it would in a ponytail. For primer, I'm gonna go in with the model's own face base and this is the mattifying primer. I haven't used this in a really long time. I kind of don't remember my thoughts. It does come in a pump. I think I remember this felt like very silicone-y. Kind of makes your skin feel soft and very smooth. The foundation I'm gonna go in with today is from Milk Makeup. It's the matte foundation. I don't think this is matte. Every time I tried it, it has gotten really oily on my skin. So I don't know if it's matte, but I don't know if I don't like it yet. I'm not upset that it's not super matte, but I don't know. I'm trying it with different primers to make sure that like to see what combination I like the best with this foundation. I have the shade Ivory. It says shake well. I'm gonna shake well. It's so liquidy, do you hear that? <laughs> wow, a little does go a long way. I forgot how much this foundation covers. This is a foundation you can feel on your skin, but looks really nice when it's applied. I mean, that just looks so pretty. This foundation does not emphasize my pores or texture. It's really full coverage as you can see. It just looks really natural and skin-like but very full coverage. For concealer I'm going to take this e.l.f. concealer. It's the 16 hour camo concealer. I have the shade light sand. I am going for a glossy red and orange yellow summertime look. That's the goal for the day. I really love wearing those warm shades in the summertime and in the spring. It just, it just makes me think of spring. I think this foundation and the concealer are gonna be a good match together because it just blended out really, really nicely. It, the concealer blended in very effortlessly with the foundation. I'm gonna take the concealer down at the center of my face. Oh man, it's getting everywhere. For powder, I'm gonna take this press powder from Bare Minerals. It's the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Performance Wear Powder Foundation. I have the shade Dawn 02. I really love the liquid foundation of this line. It's the Bare Pro Foundation and it, this is just the powder version, but I really like this to set my entire face and add a little bit of coverage to the skin. Taking just my under eye setting brush. I forgot how much I really liked this foundation. I haven't worn it in so long. I'm going around and setting my entire face since I am oily. I wanna make sure that I'm setting all of this foundation down. I don't know, I can't get over it. I love how this foundation gives a little bit of a glow underneath your powder. It makes my pores look really filled in and it's just an overall really, really nice foundation, but if you are oily, then I wouldn't count on this being a totally matte foundation. It does get a little bit more oily, like greasy looking throughout the day. I'm gonna go in with bronzer. I'm gonna use the Laguna bronzer from NARS. This is the NARS Steven Klein palette, but I'm going in with this bronzer right here called Laguna, which I believe they have in a separate packaging other than just in this palette. 
This bronzer is a super nice medium, little cool, little warm tone. I feel like I'm getting sick. Do I sound sick? For blush, I'm gonna take this from Mally, and this is the Effortlessly Airbrushed Blush in the shade Peach Perfect. And this came in a set with the highlight that I'm gonna use today also, but they're like little minis. I wanted to try it out instead of buying the full like big size highlighter. You felt like you got a little bit more for your money when you got the blush and the highlight together. So this is the color of the blush. Very good for like springtime. Makes your cheeks look a little glowy. So yeah, that's really pretty. Next is the highlight again from Mally Beauty. I'm gonna use the Effortlessly Airbrushed Highlighter in the shade Stardust. Looks like this. It is a very glowy gold highlight for sure. So that is the highlight. It's super, super pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and put a base on my eyes using the NARS Tinted Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base in the shade Light. I cannot get away from this eyeshadow primer. It's so good. And I'm setting that down using the same Bare Minerals Bare Pro powder. I really come to enjoy more radiant foundations in the spring and summer especially because when all you wear is matte foundation, it definitely can control your oil, which is a good thing, but it doesn't give a lot of life to your face. And when you have a matte foundation, it can look a bit flat and kind of like washed out. If your skin can handle the little bit more radiant foundations, I definitely think that they are more natural looking than the full on really, really matte foundations. I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera. I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Medium Brown and set them down with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. For eyes, I'm gonna go in with a mixture of the Modern Renaissance Palette from Anastasia and the J-Cat Beauty Take Me Away Majestic Galaxy Palette. I am first going to take a big fluffy brush and go in with the shade Golden Ochre from the Modern Renaissance Palette. Put this in the crease. Golden Ochre is a really good neutral type of shade to put in the crease. Next, I'm gonna take from the J.Cat Beauty palette this shade right here in the corner. It's called Sunburst. It's a really pretty orange shade. I'm taking a different fluffy brush going in with that shade right on top of where we put that first shade in the crease. Next, I'm gonna go back in to the Modern Renaissance palette and take the shade Railgar. It's a little bit more orange with the same fluffy brush. Put that a little lower on the lid, but still in the crease, just not bringing it up as high. Then for the main lid shade, I'm gonna go in with this shade called Constellation right here in the corner and put this all over my lid. And then I'm gonna take the shade Realgar again on a pencil brush and smudge it underneath the lower lash line. And I'm gonna take a flat definer brush from Sigma. This is the E15 brush. Take the shade Cypress Under right here. It's a really dark brown shade. And put that very close to the outer edge of my eye. Keeping it in the outer edge. I'm gonna curl my lashes and add my mascara. I always use the CoverGirl Last Blast Fusion Mascara. I'm gonna add it to the top and bottom lashes. I'm also going to add some eyeliner. I'm gonna take the MAC Eye Coal in the shade NC15 and W20. Let me go ahead and add that to the waterline. This helps keep the eye feeling open, not too closed in. And I'm gonna go ahead and do my mascara real fast. Lastly, I'm gonna apply my lipstick. I'm gonna take the Sephora lip stain in the shade 72 and then top it with the Buxom, what are you? Um, full on lip cream in the shade White Rush. And this is a really, really good lip gloss. It makes your lips feel all tingly and stuff. And these Sephora lip stains are everything. They're so affordable. They have a million nude shades if you are a nude person. And they go on really, really smoothly. They're very creamy, but they do dry down to a very matte and they stay there all day long. Even if you're eating, drinking, whatever, because this is a stain and not just a liquid lipstick, it's going to stay on your lips all day long. Then I'm gonna top it off with the Buxom Full On Lip Cream. 
All right, you guys, I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you enjoyed this video with the full face of nothing new because nothing was new in this video and it's just stuff that either I haven't tried enough or really, really love and use all the time. So if you want me to keep doing videos like this where I do a full face of nothing new, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. It also helps me use makeup that I already have instead of having to like go and buy new stuff all the time. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.